Mimi Kampala, living for Kigali, and I'll be connecting the journey from Uganda to Rwanda by bus, and it's gonna be an enjoyable tour, an enjoyable trip. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in case you're new here, hi, my name is Fresha, and welcome to the Dream Team. I know you wonder why I'm like a little bit low today, and the way I start my vlogs with a loud voice. So I'm in the bus, I'm in Kampala, leaving for Kigali, and I'll be connecting the journey from Uganda to Rwanda by bus, and it's gonna be an enjoyable tour, an enjoyable trip. Uh, even though it's a long, long, long way, it's about nine hours trip, and uh, yeah, looking forward to updating you guys. So that's why I, I'm not like too loud because the uh, Already in this bus, people are thinking like, who the heck is this lady? But who am I? Do I care? So yeah, mm. as I said, I'm in the bus, and uh, there's something funny that I just observed this morning. Do you know I woke up like six o'clock? I uh, my bus was supposed to leave at nine a.m. and uh, I've never been late on when I'm traveling like today. So today I just got here 15 minutes to nine. It's so so crazy. I've never been late to my tra when I'm traveling to my journey to my flight for my flights or for my bus boards. I've never, I've never been late. So today, it's like I was so confused. I woke up very early, hoping that I'll get everything on time, and I was perfect on timing. But then uh, it was eight o'clock when I was leaving where I was, and it was a uh, place like at uh, twenty minutes uh, using a Boda Boda, that is a motorbike. But then traffic in Kampala, goodness, just did me wonder. So. I got late. Okay, I didn't get late, but uh, it was a bit late. It was 15 minutes to boarding time. So, yeah, oh, okay, it was 15 minutes to, for the bus to leave. But thank God I came on time, and uh, it's now already 9 o'clock. We are about to depart. And so, yeah, along this journey, I've used the bus before to Kigali, and along this journey, we'll have like stopovers, uh, three or four stopovers, and I'll be updating you guys whenever we stop over. At any place all along all, all across Uganda and also when we cross Rwanda border I will update you guys so yeah looking forward to that and can you imagine I didn't even have breakfast today I woke up very early from the hotel I was staying and okay I was like I'll not have breakfast here I still have time I'll take it uh, along uh, alongside town the city center I did not get to the city center because I was already late so I just came here and bought uh, this cake with me and and, uh, I needed a juice, but they didn't have the juice I wanted, so I bought water here. And uh, so, yeah, looking forward to the trip. In the next two or three hours, we'll be stopping over somewhere. And I guess I'll have a proper breakfast in the first stop over. So, yeah, I've talked too much, so <laughs> let's continue the journey. I'll update you guys. Guys, I know how bad I am right now. <laughs> Yeah, I know how bad I am. I told you guys I'll catch you up at the at the stopovers, but trust me, I did not even get back to you guys. It's seven hours, I guess seven hours after we talked last, and uh, I'm at the border. I'm at the border of Uganda and Kigali. Now I'm already in Kigali side, and I'm so sorry. I just had a lot. We stopped over, but I could not even uh, record. It was a bit rainy. So it was a bit hard for me to catch up with you guys. So yeah, right now as I speak, I'm at the Buddha, as I said. So I just left Uganda behind me. I'm heading to Kigali side. Oh, okay, I'm already in Rwanda right now. So I'm going at the immigration and finish up everything. So I'm actually very hungry. I stopped over uh, two, three times, but I was only eating junk food like crepes, cakes and I'm just so hungry right now, so I'll just go to the immigration and then after I'm done, I grab something to eat. I think that is lunch and it's already like, uh, uh, what time is it? It's already like 4 o'clock. It's already like 4 p.m. So, yeah, I'm just catch up with you guys after I'm done with the, with the immigration. And I'll ha but they, I will tell you guys the challenges that I got today at that road trip. It was not so good. I just don't like the way the, the things were happening. So yeah, we'll catch up when I get there. Hey guys, I am back. I know this is not even funny. 
it is one day after i told you guys i will catch you up after the mi- the immigration so what really happened i first of all i apologize for like the whole of that road trip i kept telling you i will catch you up guys i will catch you up but i never did so it is one day later like i got here yesterday at uh, 7 pm and uh, it is already afternoon it's around 3 4 5 the following day so I'm so sorry. So what happened is, okay, before I, I had told you, I want, I will tell you guys what really made me annoyed in that trip. But before then, I will tell you why I never got back to you after I told you I would, after the immigration. So uh, after I went to the immigration offices, we were done. And first of all, we took forever there. We took like one hour waiting for those people to like check us in, in Rwanda. And... Uh, they were too slow we were not even many can you imagine like it we did not even like collide there many buses it was only us our bus and we were not so many the bus was not even full so what happened i don't know if they were kind of slow or something i don't know and then it took us forever for them to come they normally come at the border and check your bags you have to open it for security purposes so when for them to come and open our bags again it took us forever forever and at that time i was so annoyed i was so angry so that built up the anger that i had before and then i said okay fine i'll just go and then uh, i'll update the guys after i get home i'm sorry so yeah i I hope you understood that so uh again what happened in uh, that road trip i guess that road trip was not the best of my trips and uh, i really did not like it so when i was in kampala i used the bus jaguar i will even mention the bus name here because i'm not even happy about the bus and i will never even use that bus again and also i will not advise you to use the bus again for maybe for you or you have used it once and uh, you really loved it for me i never never loved it and i have never used it again so what happened when we boarded the bus from kampala we like uh, on our way like leaving kampala city now towards where we were going the bus from that place from kampala to wherever we were getting to kigali the bus stopped more than more than 10 times trust me it stops more than 10 times like it is stopping and then picking more people sometimes it even goes uh, just somewhere and then waits for people to come in like which bus does that i have never seen that like when you book from the offices you should like directly go and to until where you're supposed to go but then this bus it was like stopping and then even waiting it had even time 10 minutes 15 minutes to wait for people to board people who they are not even sure who are coming even if they are coming so i was i was practically annoyed about that so and then something else that like literally was pissing me off is that when you are like whenever we will stop yeah maybe some people will come in so when these people come in the bus and remember we boarded from kampala and then these people have just gotten into some into the bus somewhere in the middle of the trip what they will do we, they will again start disturbing our peace and asking for receipts again like for the tickets again to like show yes you paid okay yeah i should show you that i've paid my ticket but why does it have to be like every time you stop you come in and then check if everybody has a ticket who does that you're wasting our time one two you are disturbing our peace and three you're annoying you're annoying because you should know you should keep records you should keep track of who has come in and then you will follow them not like every time we stop after we come back again and start moving at 10 minutes they ask for the tickets again <laughs> i really did not like that if you are watching this and you're from any jaguar offices i know you might not and uh, or maybe you're working with jaguar or whatever you do with jaguar i am not happy i'm not happy with the services i've never boarded such a bus seriously i've never boarded such a bus one thing you should not stop within the trip why like in between the trip you're stopping more like more than 10 times and then uh, anyways so that was it that is why i was so angry at that trip like even when you were stopping up and mind you that these times that you are stopping at uh, this many many times we are not like stopping and going out no they don't even want you to go out so you're stopping and then waiting for people who if maybe there will be people who will board it was annoying it was annoying so that is the reason why even when we stopped all those times, uh, I never even updated you on what I ate, on what I did, because you are never even coming out. I even came out in all those times. I came out one time and uh, it was a bit drizzling. 
it, it was about to rain so i did not record i could not have recorded so that's why i did not update you guys even what i had breakfast first of all i did not even have breakfast not only breakfast even lunch i did not have lunch i came to have dinner when i got to where i was going in kigali so that was so annoying i think my trip didn't go well i didn't like it like that but we thank god that now i am in rwanda and from today from today babe from today <laughs> expect rwandan vlogs okay so yeah i have a lot coming up i hope you guys enjoy it and uh for you who always support my madness who always support my craziness thank you so much also stay tuned in and please if you're new here if it's your first time to see this crazy girl here <laughs> kindly support the girl kindly subscribe turn on the bell that you'll never miss a tiny video that you always post weekly so wow i'm panting i think uh, i've just remembered that i was so mad at those people anyways that was it in my trip or well, that was it with my trip and uh, so yeah looking forward to rwandan better vlogs okay bye bye peace